What's going on YouTube? Geosnark here. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own iOS tweaks that work even on iOS 18.3.2, 18.2 and lower on all devices. And you're going to be able to do those directly in my application iDevice Toolkit, which was released a couple of days ago. Now, as you probably know, the application already contains some tweaks of its own, but if you want to make your own tweak, for example, if you know a path that can be tweaked, you can now make your own tweaks. And of course, you can even share them with people in the community. You can import tweaks from other people and so on. So you're probably aware of iDevice Toolkit is now available on my website. It's a tweaking slash customization iOS application for iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 18.3.2 based on the brand new vulnerability by Ian Beer. And this one, as I said, allows you to enable some jailbreak-like tweaks on your device. As you can see, I have the application over here. And if we open it, we can find the currently available tweaks. Now I'm able to actually update the tweaks list remotely from my GitHub account, which means that if I create new tweaks that I find interesting and I decide to release them, you're going to be able to have them without an application update. However, you can check for application updates by pressing the button at the top. So as you can see, we have all the tweaks from the application over there, but there is also the button to create your own custom tweak. Now keep in mind, this device is not jailbroken and you can do this on iOS 18.3.2, even on the iPhone 16 or 15. So I'm going to go here to create custom tweak. And for this video, for this demonstration, I'm going to create a tweak that disables the uh, camera settings, for example, over here. Here in settings, I'm going to disable this panel completely to not allow people to change any settings. Just a demo tweak. So I'm going to go ahead in here and call the tweak, let's say, camera killer. And I'm going to select an icon for my tweak. When you share this tweak with people, you also give them the icon, description, and so on. And they can just import it in their version of my app. So I'm going to go ahead and select that icon over there. On the description, I'm going to write that it kills the camera settings. And here on the target paths, you have two options. You can either input the paths manually, comma separated, or you can actually use the built-in file manager from my application. You press browse over here and it will ask you for a path. Now you're going to write, for example, system and the application will do the rest. Just press scan over here and you can see all the files available in the slash system. And yes, this does not require a jailbreak at all. You can browse the files from your iOS device without being jailbroken. I really hope you like my application. I worked a lot on this app. Anyway, I know that for the tweak that I'm building, I need to actually interact with the preference bundles because that's what those panels in settings are called. So I'm going to go ahead in here and browse and do trial and error, you know, to find the proper file to tweak. In my case, I know that it's a preference bundle. So I'm going to go here to preference bundles and everything you see in here, each bundle in here represents a different setting panel in the settings. And as you can see it in there, camera settings dot bundle. Let's open the folder and you can see the entire bundle and of course the files over here. In this case, for this tweak, it's a quick demonstration. So the only thing you need to do in order to disable that panel is to select the info P list over here, but you can select multiple paths and they all will be added if multiple paths are necessary for what you're trying to achieve. In this case, just info P list. So I'm going to add select and as you can see, it's automatically added in there. And now we have the option to save the tweak. So I'm going to save it and it will be saved. And now you should be able to see besides the uh, tweaks that are available by default in the app, there's also custom tweaks and you can see the info, you can see the paths that it affects, you can delete it or you can tap in here and enable it. And I'm going to enable just that one tweak. It's going to run the exploit, it's going to take a second and that's it. Here's the terminal window. It says everything is successful. Applied one tweak. Now we can go back in here and if I go to settings now and I navigate to the uh, camera settings, it should not be available anymore. And as you can see, it's not. That week worked perfectly fine and we were able to disable these. This way you can build your own tweaks just like with flex. Well, really not that big because this is not a jailbreak, but you got the idea. You can make your own tweaks and you can even share them with people. If you don't need them anymore, you can just delete them from here and that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my application. I worked a lot on this. You can check it out here on my website. You have the full support. You have the uh, downloads button for the IPA and it's also completely open source on GitHub. So you can find the source code and it's actually updated in real time as I work on it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your iOS issues. If the device is stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, Apple logo and so on, you can also use this to upgrade, downgrade and so on. Check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Gia Snow and peace out.